We are not fake news. We are real news. Much of the dossier has been corroborated. Some rioters were planning to murder lawmakers. What does Putin have on Trump? Has Trump been compromised? That Kavanaugh aided and abetted in the commission of a gang rape. But it does look like that young man to me is taunting the Native American Vietnam vet and he's in his face. When you start whipping people with, and you want to split hairs between reins and whips. There is no evidence of any wrongdoing by either Joe or Hunter Biden. Looking ahead to 2020, uh, one reason why I'm taking you seriously as a contender is because of your presence on cable news. A widely held conspiracy theory that the coronavirus was created in a Chinese laboratory. Dr. Fauci, thank you uh, for keeping it straight. Thank you for fighting the good fight. We know the science. We know that masks work. This is now a pandemic of the unvaccinated. It is now a pandemic of choice. You can stay unvaccinated if you want, but you're not going to be able to travel to see your family. Joe Rogan, uh, he came down with COVID. He says he says he's been taking the uh, livestock dewormer uh, ivermectin. I hope you are able to appreciate what you did in your state and what it means for the rest of the country. Disturbing video last night showed Jacob Blake unarmed, being shot by police. Obviously, we do it overseas against our adversaries, but we don't spy on Americans. If you want to believe the NSA is reading your favorite TV star's emails, go right ahead. He claims it's true. The NSA denies it, of course. There is no one more knowledgeable, more decent, more honest, uh, more committed to the interests of America than John Brennan. The biggest terror threat in this country comes from radicals on the far right, primarily white men. Domestic terrorism seems to be starting to spread virally in the way that we saw that happen overseas with ISIS. Violence has erupted during anti-lockdown protests. What you are seeing now, these images came and come in stark contrast to what we saw over the course of the daytime hours in Kenosha and into the early evening, which were largely peaceful demonstrations. If only we had a vaccine against BS. We're not here to spin things or uh, you know, color things a certain way. We're here to give the people reliable, accurate information on a daily basis. That's why we all come into work every day.